Well, here we are <clears throat> in Malta, Illinois. Good friend Dave here. Hey. Hey, man. How you doing? We are attending our voiceover acting class today. We look right there, right? Yeah. Right there. How, do you, how do you work this thing? Okay. <laughs> We're going to give you updates throughout the day as we feel uh, inspired to do so. I've been working the pipes this morning. How you doing? This is voiceover class. Brought my notebook. This was a notebook from a previous class at a previous academic institution. And I have successfully removed all of the notes. You got like six pages in there. From the previous class. And this is what's left for today. Well, it's only a two hour class, so I think you'll be fine. And <laughs> if anybody wants to copy my notes. This is I my can, school I can be reached uh, via Chris's uh, God, Facebook page. Yeah, because right. as everybody knows, I have practically no digital footprint. Footprint anywhere. That's right. Which is why it took me like okay. seven years to find you. Okay, signing off. Chris and Dave live from Malta, Illinois, once again. We were hanging out in the classroom about a half hour before the class started, and the teacher looked at us and basically told us to take a walk. Yeah, full refund. <laughs> well, we're going back. So here we are, beautiful Malta, Illinois, about five miles west of DeKalb, our old stomping ground. Yes, it is. Any voiceover tips that you want to share? Uh, you know, I, I was wondering uh, how much experience you've had with uh, using your voice. Just a little. Besides being on, on the radio show, has there been anything? Singing in the shower. That's about it. Does that count? Yeah. I mean, aside from some things I've done, a couple of voiceover things, not... Not too much, but uh, I do remember one thing. I worked with uh, as an intern for um, Tom Share. You may remember him on Channel Five Sports. Oh, I thought he was when a I, lawyer. I, no, I interned uh, yeah. on Tom Share's morning show with uh, his producers, yeah. um, Ed Creech and uh, Rick Geezer. And for some scary reason, I dreamed of Rick Geezer last night. Nothing wrong and with I, that. that. I'm frightened. But he works at uh, WGN now, I think. But anyway, um, I learned from Tom Scher to drink hot water, the best thing for your voice. For the voice? Before... Just, just hot water. Uh -huh. No tea, no coffee, no caffeine, no sugar. Well, it is a little chilly out here, and maybe I should get back inside. Okay. Because my voice is starting to thaw. I hope that or, tip helps. Does that make sense? Good luck to you. Thank you. We'll, we'll probably learn more over the next hour. See ya. Well, that was tough to hear. That was pretty brutal, actually. I never I'm thought afraid. I'd to hear that kind of feedback. <laughs> Criticism. I, I can't believe it. I, I was so excited. I mean, I, I took all these notes. I mean, I, you took a I, lot of notes. I really got into you this. You filled up that six-page notebook. I mean, I filled up the whole book practically, and then he told me I'll never work in this business. Nice. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. I could have told you that before you paid out the 50 bucks. No, just kidding. I'm sorry. We're gonna let's get some lunch. We're, 